take a good long look at the name Barton Secondary School because in a couple of weeks it's no longer going to exist. Hi, I'm Ted Michaels. The year was June 1972. I graduated from this school, which means it's been 42 years since I've been here. I really didn't have any desire to come back to the old stomping grounds, but this is different because as we say, Barton Secondary School will cease to exist. So, I'm gonna find out why and maybe revisit some of the old places I used to go to when I went to Barton. So, let's go inside. Well, the first thing is I squeezed into my old desk here when I took uh, English uh, at Barton. Vice Principal Brian Lennox joins us. First question for you. Emotional day, emotional week coming up for you, you think? It's been an emotional uh, few weeks for sure as we, as we come together to celebrate uh, 54 years of tradition at uh, Barton Secondary School. Now let's uh, very quickly talk about the name is actually, I guess, in many ways being retired at the end of June. Kind of talk about that. Yes, it is. So uh, a number of schools across our board are closing. We're celebrating everything our students and staff and parents have done in the school. And in September, we'll be opening uh, as a site for the Nora Francis Henderson Secondary School, the new school that will be built within the next two years. Now, I'm wondering from yourself, have you talked to the, uh, the graduating class to tell them, you know what, uh, gang, you are the last official graduates of Barton Secondary School. Has that crossed anybody's mind yet? Yes, uh, that's a good question. We, we've been, uh, from, from when we first uh, were told that the school was closing when the decision was made by board, we've been working for the last six months to recognize the students, parents, and the staff that, that have walked the halls of the school. I'm wondering in the time you've been here, uh, have things changed at all as far as students or are students still students? I think uh, kids are kids and they want, uh, I think as educators, we want kids when they come into our buildings to to reach their goals, reach their dreams, have fun doing it, laugh with staff. As, as we know today, we have people coming back that graduated back in 1964. One of the nice things about this uh, place is I managed to find, I remembered where my old locker was. Uh, you know, I, I walked through this place and the auditorium when I came here looked so big and it's not quite as big as I thought it was in my locker. I can't believe I got all my stuff in there. Uh, do you hear from on occasion, not necessarily this weekend, but from former classmates or uh, former students of, uh, of Barton that you taught? Um, so I actually uh, never did teach at Barton Secondary School, but I have had students come in. Um, social media, as we know, is very powerful. We've had, we had someone drop in that graduated uh, in 1991. He was in the area. He was traveling. He lives in England now. He uh, walked the halls, and similar to you, he walked to his locker, talked to a few of the teachers, and so there's thousands of people that uh, are Barton alumni. And, and uh, it's a very emotional day, and, uh, but we're doing it with class and with integrity, and we've really worked to be inclusive. You don't like to use the term history in an English class, but I think in this case, it, it kind of fits. Paula Gallant has been a teacher at Barton, an English teacher. I'm going to let you tell everybody how many years you've been here. 26 years. So I started here in 1988. Teachers come, and they go to other schools, and they have opportunities. I'm wondering, what kept you here at Barton? I've always loved this community. I live in this community. So when I go for a walk around my neighborhood at night, I see former students. I'm to the point now where when I do a parent-teacher interview, I have sat down with a father and son and taught both. So yeah, it's been a wonderful community. I've been here for 26 years, but when I talk to teachers who come in and teach a class or two or stay for a couple of years, they, they never want to leave Barton. It's always been a warm and accepting place. Last Friday night, Ted, we had an event where former staff and present staff got together down on the waterfront, and that was really emotional for me because we were I saw teachers that I had taught with 20 years ago. Um, that was a special time. And today, when we got to the end of uh, the, the auditorium piece, and they were singing that song, I Hope You Had the Time of Your Life. Yeah, it, it is emotional. 26 years. Um, have, have students changed in your mind? We all tend to think that maybe kids today aren't quite the way they were when I was in school 42 years ago. Um, are kids uh, still pretty much the same, do you find? Very much the same. Yeah, very much the same. A difference that you might find interesting is 26 years ago, if you looked at my class list, you would see names like Peter, John, Andrew. Now if you looked at my class list, you would see Hassan, Bashir, Maeb. So we've become a much more diverse community, um, but it's a very inclusive, wonderfully accepting place.
In my grade 12 year, which obviously led me to my broadcasting career, during lunch I'd spend a lot of time here in the cafeteria at Barton. We used to have this big sound system and I'd play the music. So we'd play things like Deep Purple. We'd play music like Alice Cooper. And yeah, we threw some Chicago in there too. My old spot is still there. I'm gonna go sit in it. The fact that Barton Secondary School is closing is a little emotional for a lot of people. So, on behalf of the thousands of students and the hundreds of teachers, goodbye Barton. Thanks for the memories.